welcome to the lab your exercises today we will do another exercise on civil communication between uh, arduino and labview so the purpose here is to acquire some sensor data with arduino and then display it on labview via civil communication so for this purpose let's just start from the very basic sensor which is uh, ultrasonic sensor here and its connection diagram with arduino will look like this so after making its connection diagram, we will move on to its uh, Arduino code. Since in civil communication with Arduino, we must need an Arduino code which will run uh, to use basically to control motor or acquire any sensor data. But all we will do is in lab view is to acquire that sensor data which is fetching uh, from the Arduino basically. So let's just uh, start from here. So now we will just jump on to our lab view programming environment to see how we can acquire this sensor data that we have seen in the Arduino serial monitor into lab view. So for that purpose let's just go to our block diagram here and then I will go to uh, instrument and here I have instrument drivers, visa, GPIB and serial communication. I will just pin it down in here and let's just go to <coughs> visa or a serial monitor and here I can get the configuration port uh, sub VI and then what I will do is I will use write function and then read function and then close function from here and I can also use this bytes at port which is I'm just making a very simple right now serial communication um, VI between this uh, lab view and arduino so what i will do here is i will use a while loop in here to enclose these functions right now so i will just connect i will just uh, first of all i will give uh, the control as the visa source name at which the uh, at which comb uh, my arduino is connected and then all of these things will be the same um, and but I will give we can give another <clears throat> so the 10 seconds here is the time of timeout if there is no connection between this time uh, this VI will time out then we have to run this VI again so uh, what I will do is we can increase this time by adding 0 at the uh, right end so it means uh, uh, now it is 1 minute <clears throat> or I can say 100, uh, 100 seconds uh, it will take uh, to uh, stop or reset or the timeout so now we, I will just simply connect it with my write function and uh, then I will just connect it with the bytes at port which means that it will read all the bytes uh, after sending this command it will check how many bytes or what is the data is receiving at the port so I will connect this at the read end and uh, then I will just connect it out with my close function. We can also simple error handler in here uh, but right now I will just give it left it and uh, now I can just increase its space. Uh, for the better data acquisition purposes I will use a little bit of delay like say 500 milliseconds and then I will use a control function to control the while loop uh, so here is the stop button and then similarly I have to <coughs> read the data so I will create an indicator in here so read the buffer so now what I will do is now the main thing the main uh, point to note in here is uh, how we will acquire the census data from Arduino so as we have seen that uh, since uh, the serial monitor is reading this value distance so it is the value is serial dot print uh, distance so, so now what we will do is we will just upload the code again in here as we can see the code is just uploaded and with uh, now without going to serial monitor in Arduino we will just use our lab view program 
now i will uh, again refresh and then select the port and run my program here it is just showing me 29 centimeter now if i just playing in front of it something like my breadboard now it is uh, reducing the distance similarly if i just increase with the distance it is consistently increasing or decreasing the distance so right now anything which is just requiring and the data in Arduino it is just simply shown in lab view so it means that we can use any kind of Arduino code and acquire the data and then uh, read it in lab view and then manipulate the data by using some various function which can be very useful in lab view so now here this time we have just changed our sensor to do another exercise so that we can see if we can acquire other sensors data so here we have MQ-135 gas sensors which is uh, to detect usually carbon dioxide or other poisonous gases. So here what I am going to do is I will just upload this code in Arduino and uh, this code is very simple ones it will just see the analog values from the MQ-135. So right now if I just open up my serial monitor I can see the values at 92, 93. So if I use this uh, room spray, which has many poisonous gases, as we can see uh, the ingredients. So if I will just um, uh, make a little bit of spray um, directly in front of this, so uh, we can just see the values are increasing. Uh, so it has gone from 135 to 150 from and now it is decreasing its value from uh, as we can see right now it is consistently decreasing since uh, it, uh, it is just checking the values uh, from the regular in intervals of 150 milliseconds 150 uh, yes 150 milliseconds so that's how it is working so now if I just close this serial monitor and then go back to my previous um, uh, lab view program and then again if I just refresh it and then again use the COM port and then run my program here it is showing me the air quality right now which is 109 uh, ppm so if again I will just spray a little bit now it has just gone to uh, 400 and then just decreasing because i have directly exposed the spray on the sensor so that's why the values jump too much uh, because it uh, contains the liquid as well so uh, i just uh, unwillingly uh, exposed uh, the sensor with the liquid so that's why the values gone very high now they are decreasing now this time uh, we are using uh, two LEDs to represent to uh, relays or we can say buzzers or anything to control the digital basically. So the purpose here is to control the LEDs which will be uh, connected at the pin 2 and 4 and then the pin mode LED is output and this is the Arduino code to use. So here the key is if the variable is serial.read and if the variable is A which will be sent it from the lab view then the pin mode will be high. If the variable is W then it will be low and similarly for LED second uh, if the variable is B then the pin mode is high. So here is the code that we are using for this purpose. So right now. Uh, if I just go back to my um, front panel and uh, run the program in here and then if I just turn on the relay one then as we can see green LED is turned on and if I just put on turn on the relay two then the red one is turned on, on. and similarly we can turn off or on these are representing as relays so that's how we can also control um, digital inputs in lab view. So our last exercise in here is to control servo motor using lab view and Arduino. 
So for this purpose, I am using this Arduino code to control the servo motor via serial communication or the serial signals. So here we have included the servo dot edge, then servo as an object I have used OBJ and uh, the yellow pin which is our signal pin is at 8 and uh, then here is the serial dot begin uh, 9600 while serial dot available which is equal double equals to 0 which means that if the serial uh, has a value of 0 uh, compares the value which double, uh, double equals to means compares the value and uh, int value is equal to serial dot parse int and uh, then we have object dot write value and I have given the delay of 5000 so right now here is my lab view code which I am using which is a quite a simple code um, here I have uh, used this uh, visa resource name and as we have used the serial dot write um, sorry uh, visa write function and uh, this is the decimal places at which it will be shown so right now if I will just uh, I uh, here I am missing out something so as I am using serial then I have I should also close it and connect it with these strings all right so now 